a phone call. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to that afternoon to bring forward a crash meeting and on the director of business and services. Jack, one third is going to go with Mac McIntosh, and a third with uh, Barry Collisart. So, if you guys want to kind of break yourself up, uh, we're going to start. Everybody will get the same tour. It's just going to be in a little different order, uh, so that uh, we're not on top of each other. So, we can go ahead and break ourselves up and uh, just form up on your notes of Mac, Jack, or Barry. <laughs>
And this place tries to, tries to, it doesn't try to make you Marines, it tries to let you walk in the footprints of what it is Marines have done since 1775. Now when we look at this gallery, the deck is blue, and that is a deliberate function because Marines come from the sea. The ship structure back here, we're very close working with the Navy, so we have, although it's a clever way to hide an elevator, but it's, <laughs> it's a ship structure painted gray. Around the bulkhead you see pictures. These are Marines doing what Marines have done during their time in the Corps. Now, some of this are unique. We know some, some of them are because that Marine the sergeant right there actually walked in the museum one day. His wife was watching television on a documentary about the Marine Corps and he did a little bit about the museum and he's in the kitchen and she's watching the show and she spots her husband. And so they had to come down from Pennsylvania to see if it was true. Mm. So we know that's Al Caputo from Golf Company, 2nd Battalion, 5th Marines. That's Operation Prairie in Vietnam, 1966, and about two or three days after that picture, he was wounded. The one you can't hardly see behind the helicopter, I always thought it was an individual I served with the Marine Corps, but that, it was a little bit before my time. I'm old, I'm 75, but that Marine served in the Mexican campaigns in World War I, so just a little bit before my time. The other one is an aviator by the name of Robert Hansen, lost his life at sea during World War II. And next to him is the only individual that can create a Marine. That's a drill instructor. Sergeant Gunderson, Gunnery Sergeant Gunderson, from Paris Island in 1988. Over here on the next uh, other side, we have a young man who lost his life on Edie Wee Talk in World War II. Next to him is a young woman, Louise Harsh. She's still alive today. She was one of the first people to go to officer candidate school in 1943 when the Marine Corps authorized women in the service. Next to her is a Marine at Mogadishu in 1992, which is hard to see. And the last Marine over there in the dress blues is part of the 